Hi, Paul here from Trek It, and uh, we thought we'd come out into the Black Mountains today. Uh, the forecast said it was going to be bright and clear and cold, and it just shows you how uh, unreliable the weather can be in the mountains because it's pretty horrible. We were going to be right up on the top near Hay Bluff, uh, but it was, it's just blowing a hoolie up there, so we've come a little bit further down out of the mist, but it's followed us down. But I shall persevere, and we'll see if we can get this video smashed out. So what are we talking about today? We are talking about the wonderful mountain equipment Vega jacket. So what is the mountain equipment Vega jacket? Well, this is it in its lovely orange color. Uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a jacket, it's a highly technical jacket built around an uncompromising design for those people who want uh, the best insulation, the minimal weight, smallest pack size for, you know, for, for, for true alpinism, uh, for UK winter mountaineering, uh, anybody looking for a really serious technical jacket that's going to uh, keep them warm and keep them protected from the elements. So on the outside of the Vega jacket, you've got Mountain Equipment's own dry light loft fabric. That's the orange stuff that you can see here. Now, dry light loft fabric is a nylon microfiber woven very tightly. It's then given a microporous PU coating on the back of that, which gives it a hydrostatic head of about 1500 millimeters, which in effect makes the fabric pretty much waterproof. Um, but because of the construction of the jacket, it's not 100% waterproof because of all the stitching. There's no tape seams. So it does make it highly water resistant. It's windproof. It's got great breathability. But uh, please remember to always take a shell with you like today. If the weather's closing in and it's getting really wet, this jacket isn't 100% waterproof. Um, but having said that, it does make it really good for our typical UK winter conditions like this when it's damp. It's cold, it's blowy, you know, I'm really toasty in here, it's lovely and warm. Uh, and on the inside of the jacket, uh, they've used uh, a, a nice lightweight nylon, so this is this other orange colour here. This is an uncoated fabric, oh, I'm going to do this up because it's cold. So it's an uncoated fabric on the inside, just to help with the breathability and the drape of the jacket. And also, if you're just wearing a t-shirt underneath this, if you're particularly brave, then it feels much nicer against the skin. Uh, mountain Equipment have also uh, included that dry light fabric in certain areas of the jacket that are more prone to water ingress or basically areas that are going to get wet. Uh, so the entire uh, lining of the hood is, uh, uses the dry light fabric because you get very sweaty around your head. Uh, if the hood's down like I've got it now, it can fill up with water or with snow. So it's just to stop that down getting wet on the inside. Also uh, around the inside of the cuffs here, is dry light and also at the bottom of the jacket here around the hem. And that's basically to stop moisture wicking back up inside the lining. If it's running down your arms or running off the jacket down to the hem, it just stops it wicking back up inside. Uh, and they've also used it just at the pocket entrance here. Uh, so when you're putting your hands in and out, it just stops water getting into that lining fabric and potentially dampening the down, which is not good because we all know the insulation gets loft once, lost once the down is wet. So let's get down to the nitty gritty, all that wonderful stuff inside this jacket that's keeping you warm, or keeping me warm on this occasion. Uh, Mountain Equipment have used some of the finest down that you can get. It's uh, 235 grams inside this uh, particular jacket of the finest 800 fill power European goose down. And not only is it the uh, finest goose down, but it's also one of the most ethically sourced uh, down products available. Mountain Equipment certify this with their own down codex program and the codex program uh, basically ensures that the down is ethically sourced, that it's a byproduct of the meat industry and it also uh, the, the whole process is audited, audited, it's hard to say when you're cold, the whole process is audited from farm to factory uh, and to the finished product all the way through. So every step of the process is audited and monitored to make sure that that ethical standards are adhered to. Uh, and they also uh, give you a lot of information with the jacket. There's little leaflets in the pockets. And also on the inside label here, there's a 12 digit code and you can go onto the uh, Down Codex website via the Mountain Rack Equipment site, enter that code and you can actually see where the down was sourced from. So a, a, a wonderful, uh, wonderful program, the Codex program, and really is meaning that mountain equipment are going above and beyond most other manufacturers to ensure that their down is the most ethically sourced product there is. So all that lovely ethical 
down codex product that's inside here is all held in place with these uh, MIDI stitch through baffles. Um, and each baffle uh, has been optimised for performance. So rather than just uh, getting all the down and just literally just stuffing it into the baffles equally up and down the jacket, Mountain Equipment have optimised the fill to ensure that uh, the maximum amount of down is placed into the baffles that need it. So a little bit more around the hood, a bit more over the chest, less down in the trunk and through the arms. So they've really thought about the fill and the individual weight for every baffle within the jacket. They call it their down optimization. And they are particularly good at it. I mean, after all, they have had 50 years experience of, uh, sort of Everest and Himalayan expeditions, so they should know what they're doing, shouldn't they really? Uh, so all that uh, lightweight down, the lightweight fabrics, the super compressibility, brings the uh, weight of the jacket, the total weight of the jacket, this is a size large, down to about 620 grams, which is phenomenal for such a warm, big jacket. It really is uh, superbly lightweight. Okay, if you want more information uh, about some of the technical jargon I've used, like fill power, for instance, uh, you want to know a little bit more, really geek out on it. We've made a specific video. Harry will put the link up here and you can go and uh, geek out on it and get all the information that you need. Right, let's go through the main features of the jacket and in normal Trek It Styly, we'll start up at the top with the hood. Now the hood is worth uh, a, a, quite a bit of time, really. It's, it's a very, very clever design. And Mountain Equipment have uh, taken some technology that they've been using in their sleeping bag construction. It's called EXL. So EXL basically is elasticated stitching that draws the inner of the, uh, in that case, sleeping bag, but in this case, the hood, it draws it close to your body to really maximize the uh, efficiency of the down, make sure it's close to your body and it's trapping as much warmth as possible. And it also means they can, they can do away with a lot of external and internal draw cords to adjust the volume of the hood. So because of that elasticated fit, there's an elasticated bit that goes over the crown and also around the back of the neck. So it pulls it in really close. So as you can see, I've just got my uh, trusty little beanie on today. And if I pull the hood up and pull it down nice and snug, you can see that it fits closely over my head, but there's also enough room in here uh, to expand using the EXL to get a helmet on. Okay, so the EXL stitching within the hood just makes it possible to sit close to your head, but also if you've got a helmet on like that, you can pull the hood up quite easily, fit really nicely over the top of the helmet, and pull it up. That's going to stay. That's going to stay nice and secure. Uh, and there's also, I don't know if you noticed, there's a little uh, stiffened peak at the top there, which just helps to keep that controlled area over the front. Stop it falling down over your eyes or your glasses if you're belaying and looking up and things like that. It just gives you an element of control over the front of the hood. Okay, so moving down, uh, we've got the, the main YKK zip here. It's a two-way zip. Um, so if you wanted to undo that, uh, answer the call of nature, get to your harness, that kind of thing, just makes that easier. And there's also a little popper at the bottom, uh, which does mean if you do that up, you could uh, ventilate a little bit without the jacket flapping around, which is quite a nice little feature. And it also just stops the zip from creeping up if you're moving around in it. The zips uh, on the front here, and on the pockets are all YKK molded zips, so they're less prone to freezing up in really nasty conditions. And behind the main zip uh, is an offset uh, floating baffle here, just to eliminate any cold spots, any chill coming through that zip onto your chest. Uh, you get, uh, I'm going to unzip it again now. Uh, on the inside, there's a, a little mesh pocket here, stretchy mesh pocket with a zip, and that's where you'll find the stuff sack, so the jacket will pack away really neatly into this little stuff sack. I'll show you that a bit later, but that's where you'll find it. It's stored away in there. And you get two nice, big, deep hand warmer pockets. So as you can see, I can really shove my hands into these uh, and keep them nice and warm, big enough to store gloves, spare hats, that kind of thing. Uh, nice, big pockets. And then down at the bottom, you've got mountain equipment's really effective dual tether draw cord. Uh, basically, you've got two draw cords, one running across the front and one running across the back. Uh, so you can tailor the fit and the shape of the jacket. But it also means because they've got split, the ends aren't looped together, you're much less likely to catch uh, walking poles, ice axes, that kind of thing, less likely to cause an accident or damage your jacket. So uh, really effective, really good way of sealing the warmth in around your bum, stopping any drafts blowing up the jacket. And then down at the ends of the sleeves, you've got a part elastication and Velcro, so you can get that tight. 
I've got skinny little wrists and that is really tight. That's one of the best closures actually on a jacket I've seen. Really, really effective. Uh, and then if I had gloves on, uh, it would seal up over that or big bulky mitts or you can open them up for ventilation. I'm going to keep them closed because it's cold. Right, uh, for those of you who are familiar with my videos, you will all know that I am six foot three, I've got a 42 inch chest, 34 inch waist, and I weigh, well actually it's after Christmas, so I'm a bit closer to 14 stone this time of year, but normally between 13 and a half and 14 stone. This is a men's large, and I must say the fit is exceptional. It's, uh, the, the, the Vega jacket is made with a slightly tailored fit, so it's really close in around the hips and around the trunk but then there's plenty of room around the arms and the shoulders and the chest for movement. I, mean, I can reach up, there's very, very little hem lift here if I'm using this climbing in an Alpine uh, or UK mountaineering uh, environment. Uh, plenty of room around the shoulders, plenty of movement. Uh, and underneath this, I've got, uh, I've got uh, a lightweight base layer uh, and I've got uh, an ME uh, lightweight fleece, which is perfectly adequate for today. Uh, I could put an extra layer maybe underneath, it's a, it's, a, it's a trim fit, like I said, this is not the kind of jacket that you'd buy for kind of regular knocking around town just because it has got that slim, tailored, athletic, technical cut. We've done a really uh, handy little video. Uh, we've done hundreds of handy little videos, to be honest, but uh, we've done one in particular that just helps to explain uh, how your jacket should fit properly. So I'm not going to waffle on about that now. Harry will put the link up here, follow it through, have a little look, fill your boots, get all the details. Right, you'll have to excuse me with my hands in my pockets, they're getting a bit chilly um, and they're warming up nicely in these big pockets anyway. So uh, layering wise, uh, layering as I keep saying is not a precise science, it's, uh, it's, it's individual to every person, um, you know, whether you run hot, whether you run cold, that kind of thing. But the Vega really does fit into that hugely versatile ca um, category. Uh, you can use it uh, like I am today as a standalone outer jacket in these particularly horrible conditions. It's shrugging off the, the damp from the mist really well and there's no wind coming through. It's keeping me nice and warm. If it got really, really horrible or I was going up into altitude and it was really extreme conditions, I would pop a, a shell over the top of this. So I'd use it as an insulating layer. Um, and it also, uh, because of the way that it packs down really small and is super lightweight, it's the kind of jacket that's perfect to keep in your pack for, for when you stop for lunch, when you're doing a navigation break, uh, when you're sat on a belay in really cold freezing conditions, you can literally just get it out, throw it over the top of everything, and it'll provide protection and insulation in those exposed conditions. So hugely versatile in a proper mountain technical environment. Okay, so that's the Mountain Equipment Vega jacket. Uh, in summary, uh, it's just wonderful. It's, it's a lovely thing to wear. It fits beautifully. This tailored uh, slim fit is really comfortable. It's lightweight, it's warm, it packs down really small. It's been cleverly, cleverly constructed by Mountain Equipment, who after all have had 50 years experience in making gear for the most inhospitable places on the planet. Uh, so it's, it's, it's an investment. Uh, in your comfort and your safety uh, for when you are really out in nasty extreme conditions uh, up in the major ranges of UK mountaineering and proper alpinism. So that's it, I'm going to go and shuffle off back to the car. It's all a bit cold and a bit damp and miserable. And, uh, but I hope you've enjoyed the video anyway. Uh, we enjoy making them, it's great fun coming out here doing this for you guys. Uh, if you like what you see, Put some comments down in the box below. It's always good to hear from you. Uh, and if you really like what you see, subscribe to our channel because we're constantly updating it, adding new videos, uh, product videos, information, uh, advice, you name it, we'll stick it up there. Uh, so that's it. I'm going to go and get warm. Thanks very much, guys. Uh, see you again next time. Toodaloo.